Roll call. Mr. Aristotle here. Mr. Pizzuti here. Ms. Alcuri. Present. Mr. Antonopoulos here. Mr. Fernandino here. Mr. Bruno. Present. Mr. Vendola here. Mr. Donovan here. Ms. Kuhn. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided by the following means. Annual notice was sent to the record, the South Derbyite, the Observer, the Township Clerk, and posted in the lobby of the Town Hall and Board Office, setting forthcoming scheduled board meetings and public meetings of the Board. Okay. And now we're going to hear from Mr. Greco, our superintendent. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'd like to start, uh, there's a handout next to the um, podium that has our uh, report of violence, vandalism, harassment, intimidation, and bullying. Um, it's a state required report, um, student safety data system. Um, so I'm going to run through that. This will also be on the website. I think we made a decent amount of copies. Um, if there is not enough, it will also be on our website under district information and the superintendent section. Um, so there's two reporting periods. Um, if you go to the second page, um, there's report period one, um, and basically it lists all of our schools, uh, Columbus, Franklin, Jefferson, Lincoln, uh, the high school, Memorial Campus, Roosevelt, and Washington School, and you have a total number of incidents, uh, violence, vandalism, substance abuse, weapons, and then there's hit, harassment, intimidation, bullying confirmed. Um, other incidents leading to removal, which would be a suspension, and HIP alleged, so you can have a HIP allegation, we have to do an investigation, and if it's confirmed, that becomes a HIP confirmed. Um, so you'll see in our reporting period one, which goes through mid-year, um, there is a uh, total of 19 incidents, um, and reporting period two, there's a total of 17 incidents, um, and if you go to the second page, um, what is done to prevent and educate? Uh, so basically a lot of this is our HIP trainings and programs. Um, so district-wide in reporting period one, we have five trainings and three programs district-wide. Um, reporting period two, we have two trainings district-wide and two programs district-wide. And for the total of the 18-19 school year, we had seven trainings and five programs. Um, and then we have all of the trainings and programs in our schools. Um, so those are the things that happen in the schools, whether it be a uh, safety committee or, or anything of that nature that would be meet and we have an agenda. They have to have all the stuff for QSAC and we get monitored by the state so it actually exists and we have all the information. Um, so we actually need a lot. Um, I believe the total here for the 18-19 school year was 29 trainings and 220 programs uh, total. So, I think we, we can do a lot here in terms of uh, hit trainings and programs. One of the things we go over with our staff on the first day of school is that there's a hit training. Um, it's in our administrative meeting agendas. It's on the faculty meeting agendas at the federal level. And it's, it's something we obviously take serious here. Um, for the 1920 school year, we're going to continue using Sanford Harmony in grades K-5. Um, that helps us with social and emotional learning. It's a program we use at Sanford Harmony. Um, phase two of the stigma-free campaign, which we piloted at the high school, piloted at the high school for 18-19, and will be expanded to grades four to 12 uh, in school year 19-20. Um, we have something called the Unified Club, which includes uh, high school and unified sports. Um, some of our staff members presented uh, in the spring about what we're doing with our Unified Club. We, we were getting a last year six thousand dollars in grant money, um, which does not cost anything for the taxpayers. That total amount was increased to 18000 this year. Um, so it's really a great thing. They really did an awesome job. Um, our staff members that are involved in that. Um, the people that run the program came here were like a model school. It, it's really unbelievable what they're doing. So the fact that we're getting $18,000 is going to help us do a lot more things and really get us on the map. Um, there was a newsletter that they, that they do that they were part of it. Um, it's really a cool thing. We're going to try to get that out there more to the public so you can come see when we do some of these programs. We're going to try to incorporate them into some of our sporting programs. 
Um, so it's really good stuff. It actually falls under the NJS, NJSIAA umbrella. So basically the governing body for high school sports, it, it actually falls under um, that, that governing body, NJSIAA. So it's, it's related to Special Olympics, um, if you weren't here for that uh, presentation. And uh, we'll, we'll make sure that it's posted back on the website. I think it expired, so we'll put that back up there because it's back on the map. Already. We'll get that up there again so you guys can see that. Um, we're going to expand the Unified Club to uh, Buddy Up, uh, which includes K2. Um, and basically going back to our, our hip and overall violence, vandalism, substance abuse, continuation of classroom lessons, trainings, and programs at the K-12 level. Um, we're also looking to do uh, different parent academies, so it just be different parent presentations that we have. Um, a lot of those are free. The county offers a lot of them. Uh, internet safety for parents. I actually saw, um, I believe it was from the prosecutor's office, a gentleman who that was an awesome program, good for parents um, of any age level, um, whether your child's little, like mine are, or older. Um, they kind of have things to look for in terms of social media and things like that. Even if you think you're in tune, there's always something new coming out. You gotta stay on top of all of that stuff. So there's some really good programs out there that we, we plan on sharing not only with our staff but with parents and the community as well. Um, just to move along, uh, we will be giving more updates on not only our uh, K to five referendum, um, which is, is moving forward, but as well as our opening of new uh, middle school next year. Um, currently, the uh, search process for principals underway with an outside consulting group. Um, so we, we will be giving uh, periodic updates on that. Um, in terms of technology, we are looking to move forward with an infrastructure uh, overhaul. Um, I know in, in this room sometimes it's come up. Our phones, our Wi-Fi, um, our access points uh, for Wi-Fi, our cabling, a lot of that is, is antiquated and needs to be fixed. And our board has been supportive of uh, an overall, an overall which is going to really help us. It's just like building a house, you need your, your foundation first before you can do so many other things. So before we can look at um, you know, getting more devices or getting more programs that entail technology, we really need to see um, what we, our capacity is. And right now, it's not where it needs to be. It's going to be, it's going to be really, really good, especially with the new school coming in. I think it's a lot of good stuff. It's, uh, Fiscally responsible, I think I feel confident in it's fiscally responsible. It's, um, a lot of money we already have budgeted. There's some savings, so it kind of all evens out. So we'll have more details on that coming up in the future as well. Um, currently, we're working on the high school roof over the gymnasium, um, which is separate from the any uh, referendum at this point. That, that's going on right now. Um, and that is pretty much it for the updates. Um, obviously, school opens next week. Um, we're ready to go, we're just tying up some loose ends. It's always a busy time of year, no matter how well prepared you are, things happen last minute. Um, so in terms of staffing, we're, we're very close to, to having everything staffed, and, and I feel comfortable. Um, like I said, there's always a few little glitches that we have this time of year, but we're, we're getting through them. Um, and also, just on a separate note, we are looking to um, post some new uh, positions in the district. Um, we're looking to reconfigure um, some of our administrative positions within the district, and uh, again, being fiscally responsible within our budget um, without really increasing anything. Um, we're looking to reconfigure uh, and have directors, um, directors within our, our school district, um, and this would be a change to our current uh, setup, where we have you know, basically principals, which we still have, and supervisors. We're looking to go to a director model, which I think will be more efficient and uh, help us in a lot of ways. Um, educationally, it, it makes a lot of sense. And again, it's, it's, again, it's building the foundation to what you know, I think and what I'm recommending to the board um, would be beneficial for us while being fiscally responsible. Obviously, you know, there's been some financial issues here that we're working through, and um, you know, the board has been very supportive of everything we've been trying to do. It's time for us to move forward because we need to compete with you know, the other districts, we need to give our students the best that's out there, and uh, we want to do that. So however we can do that, we're going to try to make it happen. While, you know, again, being fiscally responsible, I probably said it five times. Um, in addition to those positions, we are also looking to uh, potentially reconfigure 
um, some positions in our offices and create a um, individual to help us in the area of human resources. Um, this would be a non-administrative position and something that I think would be very beneficial to us based on some of the, uh, I guess, obstacles we face every day in terms of health benefits, um, certifications, things that there are many state reports, there's much oversight from the state, um, and really it's an important position because it's for the individual, for the employee, it's, it's their livelihood, it's, it's something that they need, somebody who can, can give them an answer, give them an answer for uh, in a quick manner. Um, so that's all I have right now. Look, uh, stay tuned for some of these things. They're going to be out there for the public to see. There's not going to be any hiding of anything. Um, again, some of these are not done. Some of these things are being done as quickly as we can do. Um, but again, they're all in the best interest of kids, uh, best interest of students, and, and that's what we continue to try to do. So that's all I have. Um, enjoy the rest of your week and a little bit of summer that we have left, and uh, see everybody soon around the district. I'll turn it over to uh, Mr. Green. Thank you. Yes, uh, um, some of the things that uh, Anthony spoke about, uh, working closely with them, specifically with uh, reorganizing. Um, uh, the administrative positions and to also uh, increase efficiency within the business office and the, the, the essential office. Uh, <clears throat> as you're aware, um, every school district uh, uh, has to undergo a comprehensive audit uh, each year. The auditors are working uh, right now uh, in the letters. Uh, we have field work, it's anticipated to be finished by the end of next week. <laughs> After that, they, uh, they return to their office, they write the whole report up, it's a, it's a detailed report. So it's going to take them some time. And then after that, the report will be reviewed internally at the auditor's uh, place of business. And then basically, uh, <coughs> that should be finished by the end of October. At that time, the, the, the process is that the auditors will sit down with the administration to go over uh, a, a draft issue of it. Uh, and then we, we then uh, have an opportunity to uh, discuss matters in case we disagree with them. And then they can go on to the uh, finance committee and then ultimately uh, to the whole board. Uh, Bottom line that that process should be finished uh, by the end of October so that at the uh, November board meeting, the audience would come and make a complete public uh, presentation to, uh, to everyone. Um, as we know, we might have a, a new subject we going on for a few months now. Uh, what we're going to do with the the health benefits uh, that uh, cover all our employees. And we are moving forward uh, to switch to the state health benefit plan. Um, we'll probably do that uh, formally uh, next to the next board meeting because the orders uh, and the regulations are uh, that we have to give the state health benefits a 90 day notice as well as our current insurance provider um, that we're not going to renew as of January 1st. We've been dealing with the association, the LEA. Um, they have some uh, reservations. They've been asking a lot of questions and we're continuing with that process. Um, this Thursday, the process continues. Uh, Thursday morning, the district broker will be meeting with the, the hierarchy and some of the members of the, uh, the LEA. And uh, uh, the broker will go and, and uh, explain to, to the union um, many of the uh, procedures that uh, will be forthcoming. The major procedure is switching January 1st in October. There is an open season, and then all employees will have the opportunity to select the policy which is best suited for them. And the broker on Thursday will be uh, explaining each one of these options. 
they will also uh, we will touch upon setting up a schedule so that when it gets close to October, when the employees have to make the final decision, the broker will be going to every school uh, during the day to have uh, another conversation to explain the differences and the aspects of the various policies that are available. Uh, obviously, we'll, we'll keep everybody posted as time goes on. So, who's going to report? Thanks. So, we'll have an approval of the minutes. I make a motion to approve the minutes of June 24, 2019. May I have a second motion? Roll call.
may so indicate now the separate motion for each of the accepted actions will be entertained. Hearing none, I make a motion to accept the following numbers one through five with number six being read separately. Second. Roll call. Roll call. Mr. Abscato. Four. Mr. Pizzuti. Four. Mr. Alcuri. Four. Mr. Antonopoulos. Four. Mr. Ferrandino. Four. Mr. Bruno. Four. Mr. Pandola. Four. Mr. Donovan. Four. Ms. King. Four. I make a motion to accept number six.